Hey guys, it's Becca from The Bookshelf. Welcome to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today we are going to be discussing Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. This is my very first read by Morgan Matson, and I have fallen in love with her books. Like I have fallen in love with her characters and fallen in love with her writing. I just I just can't wait to read more of her books after reading this one. I believe I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I loved it. This book is centered around a girl named Taylor Edwards. Taylor Edwards is going through a family trauma right now. Her father has just been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and his last dying wish since the doctors have already told him that there is no way, they can't really do anything for him. It's basically hopeless. He's going to die. So his last wish is for his whole entire family to all pack up for the summer and go to their lake house in Pennsylvania, which they haven't been to in five years. Taylor is very reluctant to go to this this lake house because she has so many secrets. Five years ago at the lake house, that was like her safe haven. She loved going there. She had friends there, but something happened to where five years ago she wanted to come back home. She doesn't want to talk about it. She never went back there and she doesn't want to go back there even now that her father is dying and that is his dying wish to go back to the lake house. That is it for the non-spoily section. I have a little bit of thoughts that I want to get to that is going to spoil you for this book. So make sure you go check out this book. I loved it so much. It just like made me feel a lot of emotions inside and just made me like reflect on life and what it means for to be there with your family. Make sure you head on over and go check out this book as well as other Morgan Madsen books because I will and I'm so excited to read more of her books. Guys, I love this book so much. I loved the family aspect of this book. I loved how at the beginning of the book, Taylor was a runner, like she didn't want to be around anything that was too much for her, so she would run away. Like at the beginning of the story, and like the very first chapter, she's running away. Like she does not want to go back to the beach house, the beach house. She does not want to go to the lake house, even though like this is what her father wants, but she does not want to go, she doesn't want to face the problems that she has set there five years ago. I love the relationship we ha she has with her father. Immediately, you know, her father is the first one to, you know, go and look after her and be like, hey kid, you know, when she ran away at the beginning of the book, he is kind of like the only one that pays attention to her because she's kind of like the middle child. So people kind of forget about her. So it's the middle child syndrome. That was also like the sweetest thing about the book, but the, like the most heartbreaking thing was because, you know, we knew that he was going to die and this was kind of like her best friend. And I just, it really breaks my heart just thinking about it. Like right now, they have such a good relationship and just the fact that like he won't be able to walk her down the aisle and all this stuff. It's just like really, really sad. And I love the moments that they spent together as a family. And I love the moments where her and her dad went to the diner to just like talk and how she just like learned all this new stuff about her father that she didn't know before. And that she probably wouldn't have known if he hadn't been diagnosed with cancer. You all, you felt this like sense of she was running out of time to like get to know her father and like truly spend time with him. And that was just like so hard breaking but I also felt that you know it was very real like the stir is very real because in some books and movies people are diagnosed with cancer but then miraculously you know they're cured but that wasn't what it was like in this story like you know it was an edible that he was gonna die and you know he did die I love the ending scene when she brought him out to, to like see the stars for the very last time it was really sad seeing him from healthy kind of semi-healthy to the beginning from the beginning of the book and then like being all frail and sleeping all the time and being too weak to walk let's talk about henry henry i loved henry so much there are not enough henry's in the world henry is taylor's ex-boyfriend whom she dated when she was 12 years old they definitely had a falling out and it was kind of like funny seeing how they kept running into each other and it was like so awkward and I could feel the awkwardness. Even though like in the beginning he was trying to be like cold towards her because, you know, she ran off. He couldn't 
be mean to her for very long. And I love to see how their relationship progressed. And I also loved how Morgan, she put like five years ago, like the previous years. And so we could see what they were like when they were 12 and how their relationship when she was 12 like progressed. And I could not imagine the reason why she didn't want to go back to this lake house. Like, I mean, she's 12. I kept saying like, she's 12 years old. What? bad thing could she have done that made all these people so cold to her and made her just like not want to go back to this lake house. The reason was such a 12 year old reason you know she likes this boy but her friend also likes the same boy but she doesn't want to tell her friend and then just like Taylor is whenever she has a face a problem so when Henry and Lucy finally like was like what's going on Taylor like you didn't tell her that we were dating and Lucy's like well you didn't tell me that you guys were dating but you know I like him when she was confronted by both of them she didn't even explain and just ran away and ran back to her house in a different state and never came back so like I understood that they had like a grudge towards her but at the same time it's like okay that was five years ago she was 12 let's get over it I can't hold grudges very long and I'm glad that Lucy and Henry couldn't so I loved seeing how Lucy and Taylor became friends again it was kind of like they have a very natural friendship I loved seeing how Henry and Taylor got back together again and it was just really sweet but sad because it seemed like her life was kind of falling into place but at the same time her father was falling you know more ill each day I just love seeing the character development and I, I love Taylor's character I mean there's sometimes in YA books where the character is just so she's just so conflicting all the time but I loved how Taylor owned up finally at the end of the book and was not going to run away from her problems anymore and you know even though she did kind of run away from Henry which that was just painful I'm glad to see that she went back and you know she told him she was wrong and she's like do you believe in second chances second chance summer and it was just really sweet and I loved it so much I thought they were so cute and I love how Morgan you know she puts characters from her previous books in her other books so I did see Amy from Amy and Rogers epic detour in here I haven't read that book but I knew that's who the Amy was I'm excited to maybe see these characters in like more books from Morgan's I just really enjoyed this family aspect and the friendship and like the love and just you know coming of age story that this book was I have like a close space for this book in my heart I just enjoyed it so much it was one of the best books I've read in a long time I know I said it to, from a, for a lot of books but it's hard to find a really good YA that just you connect emotionally and just has a really good message and also like character development that doesn't like make you so frustrated at the same time I just really enjoyed this book and I hope you guys enjoyed this too make sure you leave a comment down below on all your thoughts about this book which, were, which ones were your favorite parts don't you think that the grudge that Lucy and Henry held for Taylor was a little childish? And just tell me all the emotions that you felt during this book. I just, I really felt a lot of emotions. I even cried a little bit. But yes, 5 out of 5 stars. Really great read. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!